why Kiko communicate right so we have for the continued operation of what of business this time around we are looking at what element of communication process element of communication process we are now looking at the process of communication and by this process we can actually define communication as a six point process a six point or six steps or a process that, that is in six phases that is starting with what the conception encoding channel which is channel selection decoding through the message or through to message what interpretation and provision of what feedback if you look at all of that is this very simple method and almost everybody engages in this on daily basis in our interaction with people at times some of these things they happen in a jiffy they happen they happen in a way that what we can we really take notice of them or take note of them but they are actually what they are so by that is we said provision of feedback by the recipient the entire communication process may be what may be more than more may be more than more than the totality of this element however adequate understanding of this element is required to appreciate what happens when one party is expressing an idea to another so what actually matters is let me say with these six process now or let me say the six steps or faces now that we have identified right we can actually say communication is uh, liable to take place or uh, communication is expected to take place because these are the conditions these are the things that can actually make communication to happen these are the things that make communication what to happen so once we have we don't need to have more than this we don't need to go beyond these six these six have been tested and what's and they have been uh, they have been tested and they have been well proven so we can use the six to actually define a process of what communication when we have the six percent then communication is okay is complete but when we have one missing out of this process then we are not likely to have a complete communication so we say this six these six steps called the elements are very vital to any communication to any communication very vital to any communication exercise the first leg the first leg of the six that is the first one out of the six process or six processes or the six steps to take to a complete communication is conception and conception is when ideas are given birth to the conception is when we have the what we have in mind to to communicate the conception is the forming of our ideas the conception is when ideas begin to take what take shape and when we begin to have a vision of what we want to say or when we begin to come up with something that is the thoughts that we need we uh, the real thing that we want to say that is when it begins to form right within us that is when the conception stage 
is actually what manifesting so what the conception stage as we have it here we have what the process start with what conception of the message conception of the message of the message so the conception there of the message or an idea may be involuntary and instantaneous that is it may not require any serious thoughts thought out reasoning or that may require a more structured reasoning it depends on like on daily conversation if people have to pass by and greet their fellow humans definitely is not one is not expected to go back and probably relax and think over it and begin to work out plans to get back to the person that greeted him the other day it doesn't work like that some we have instant answers some the answers wait it depends on the uh, it depends on how serious the um, uh, it is or how serious the idea that one wants to pass across how serious it is not just any idea so when we converse when, when we discuss with people on general notes or when we just want to throw banters as we used to do at times and all those funny funny things definitely one is not expecting that that it has to be structured in such a way that uh, a lot of things or variables or elements will be what put together before one can achieve that no we can say something immediately and receive a feedback immediately right it all depends on the situation so the conception is the the idea forming the idea forming stage the idea forming stage the idea is beginning to take shape the idea is beginning to take shape and that is the conception aspect of it the conception aspect of it and of course the second one is what the encoding aspect the encoding aspects the encoding message or the encoding stage the encoding stage of course the encoding stage is having picked the idea or having stumbled on a particular idea that there is something you want to talk about the next thing is what to package that thing in such a way that it's and it will be acceptable to the world to the person that wants to receive it that is encoding now we have uh, gotten the idea but how do we now package the idea to get it across that is what encoding involves we said at this stage the sender is required to put the idea or information conceived into a most suitable word and appropriate form it is important to send for the sender to consider a number of factors in encoding the message such as receivers levels of words appreciation and understanding then you have background you have culture has the duty to ensure that language vocabulary symbols and the rest of them that they actually or they will actually contain I may convey intended meaning when we actually say encoding to encode means to put something in the code or to use a code in order to give I mean to present something it's even possible that the idea that one has stumbled upon is an idea that is what fantastic and almost everybody or anywhere anybody anywhere can just what can just uh, make use of the idea for whatever purpose right but it has to that idea has to be put together in the most acceptable manner a way that will make what that idea something to what to pay for something worthwhile right and that is what the language or perhaps the method we have to use in encoding the message so if message is to be encoded definitely the most or the vital tool 
or the most vital tool is what is the language so you choose the language then why choose the language then you have to look at the person you are communicating to does he have all it takes to take this or does maybe he has to hang on me or he has to do this he has to do that maybe all of that is encoding encoding take for example if your target person or the person you are sending a message to let's say a poet now writing a writing a poem and he targets what kindergarten or he, he targets children across primary schools and in their kg whatever now if that message is to be packaged Definitely, we are not expecting much of vocabulary there. But what is enjoyable to children at that level, what we call what rhyme, probably much of what not say rhyme, or things that will make what learning easier for them, something that will make meaning to them, like pictures, like symbols, and vocabulary, and the rest of them. All of these things have to be what taken care of. So, if you have the right message, but encoded or use a wrong word, a wrong uh, uh, was in language. You have the right message, but you lack the language to convey it. The person is as good as what as devoted. It's as good as I mean, it's as good as it's as good as uh, 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 wasting his or her time. He is as good as wasting his or his has not actually done the right thing, right? Because a communicator is supposed to take all of those variables into consideration. This message, the package, or the message, the source, the package, then the transmission, and the person that is going to receive it at the end of the day. All these things must be planned and taken care of in the process of what communication. Otherwise, the purpose for which one has gone communicating will be defeated. Completely defeated. That is it. So, the message. If there, if there is a, a message, but not... Probably, that is, there's may, but not, there's a message, but not probably. You can have the message. There is a message, there is a message, but not, not using the right medium is the problem. Selection of suitable channel. The suitability of the channel matters. The suitability of the channels matters. The suitability of the choosing medium or channel, like other factors already discussed, will impact either positively or negatively on quality teachers on quality of the response at this stage 
the actual process of transforming the message from send to receiver takes place. What are the factors we consider in deciding on a suitable channel? You talk of the speed. If there is any channel of communication you want to choose. Take for example, if you are writing to someone in America, or you want to speak with someone in America, in those days we probably might need to wait for what for months until the person that goes to what or the person that um, the person that has to travel travels and come back. That person will travel and come back before we now have a feedback. But today you can stay here. All you need to do is just a phone call away. You just call the person from where you are and you get immediate feedback. So you don't need to go through or wait until uh, eternity or till eternity before you now have your feedback. No. So communication has been what has been very much simplified. Now he said the factors to be considered in deciding on the suitable channels include what the speed, the cost, the convenience and confidentiality so you have distant nature and types of what of message all of these things matters all of these things matter rather all of them they matter and they matter in communication so if we choose take for example a selection of suitable channel supposing your audience or your target audience is just people in your locality and because of the people in your locality, you now decide to go on air, go on radio, or go on television, or go on whatever means you might, one might decide to what to reach out to people. And he knows the information primarily is talking or is for those who are in the environment or who are around. And so, if you now go to the radio to announce or go to the television to announce, it's just a mere waste of time because it's better to employ what to employ a different means to reach out that is if actually one wants to be what effective to reach out to the people if one um, wants to be effective the best way to reach out is to actually organize around there to reach out to these people in their respective homes in their respective homes so that's why it's your selection of suitable channel you have to choose the channel before you now talk of what the other things there and the process or things to look at in choice of channel are what the receiver the speed the and some other things like that that make it up or perhaps that um, make it important all right so we have the next one The next one is supposed to be what decoding. Here we have talked. We have talked about the conception. We have talked about idea as in the idea, which is the conception. We have talked about the encoding of the message, and we have talked about what the channel of our channel. A suitable channel of communication, and the next one is what the decoding of the message, which is the fourth one. Decoding of the message, of course, decoding is a job for the receiver. Why encoding is a job for the giver of the message? Why this one, the decoder or decoding, is what a job for the for the is a job for the receiver of the message a message received a message you say must be understood by the recipient in order to elicit in order he said a message received must be what understood by the recipient in order to elicit the right response right so if the message is not what understood definitely there is what 
there is what we call barrier right it has to be understood so if a message is not properly coded that is using the right words or language to communicate it then definitely a number of things can happen to ensure effective understanding it is the receiver's responsibility to attempt to break down the component of the message so what are we talking about here it is you have what let us break or attempt to break down the components break down the components of the message to the extent that what the message in totality in totality makes someone or some sense to him then we talk of effective decoding of the message may be hampered where it is of technical nature and beyond then you have similarly to the receiver perceptions and emotions could affect could affect understanding of what of the message that's the decoding of course when you get to that stage when you get to the stage of encoding we have identified all the variables or things that will be put into consideration before em embarking on encoding a message of course the 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 what would make the message easier for the receiver to get it or to understand it and in rest in and in in effect send a response is what we mean by what by decoding then of course The world would make a to receive interpret and respond. And, re and respond let's call it that way or let's call it that name because without it there is no how there won't be better understand if a receiver receives a message and he cannot interpret or she cannot interpret that message to the extent of eliciting a response then that message is not well it's not well it's not well coded or perhaps it is coded but it is not within the realm of understanding of what of the receiver this part interpreting interpreting a interpreting and decoding of any message although quite related are two distinct and separate face, faces of the process the other aspect in the other at the other side we explain or we explained what we mean by what the encoding and somehow we mentioned interpreting or interpretation along with it right so if a message is encoded in a wrong language interpretation will not be possible and decoding will not be will not be possible that is it so if it is gotten wrong at that coding uh, uh, point if it gotten if it is gotten wrong at that stage then tendencies are that every other thing every other thing is going to be affected so but there are two distinct um there are two distinct concepts anyway they 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 are can only be effective and adequate understanding of the message 
received if the recipient is able to interpret the message correctly we have just said that the sender's inability to ensure that the message is correctly encoded could also lead to what to possible distortion of the message with the effect that the message may be interpreted in a completely different way from the original originally intended meaning that is exactly what we are saying here we are saying here Interp be, uh, 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 the interpretation depends on what on coding if the wrong language wrong tone wrong composition wrong channel wrong timing um uh, what again and the rest of them if all those things are put in place is that okay to ensure or to communicate but are done wrongly the tendencies are that what communication is going to be what me when it get to interpretation or that the stage of interpretation there is going to be what there is going to be a problem because at that stage it's going to be difficult for the, the for the decoder to decode because you have a multiplicity of um, uh, ideas put together and which in such a way that he, if he is finding it difficult to actually decipher or make meaning out of all of them alright and that is why we say simplicity is the rule of the game especially in language we say simplicity is the rule of the game you have to be simple in order to what to communicate efficiently then you have the manner of the delivery of the message must equally be what be checked not to affect interpretation so majorly interpretation weights or depends on the encoding of the message so if the message is properly encoded then definitely interpret interpretation is going to be what easier for the what for the receiver of the message interpretation is going to be easier so the right a a right coding of message occasions a right interpretation is as simple as that right coding ensures or occasions occasions a right interpretation feedback process is the last leg the feedback process the first six or the first five steps if they are successful if a message is successful at the very first five steps definitely feedback is going to be right there is going to be what the right except there is a bridge I mean there is a hitch don't let me say a bridge there is a hitch in in in, in uh, in the communication he hit as in barrier that barrier i can't really i can't really trace it we can't really say the barrier is um uh that barrier is not really this the uh what do i call it now uh the sub or perhaps not the substance itself but rather the hardware involved in what in the process of communication except there is something wrong with the what the channel except there is something wrong with the the materials used to communicate right that is when feedback is might be what difficult take for example now you are calling someone and the person is to feedback immediately the person is to respond immediately you have to get your feedback on the spot but in the process of communication there is a huge probably network problem right 
so the line is cracking and um, there is a lot of what noise and there is a lot of um, uh, all these hiccups often encountered in the process of communication especially when the weather is bad right affecting that instrument or piece used in the in use in communicating that is what we are talking about that is when the feedback will not come immediately but outside that you have what feedback this is when the receiver's response to the message is conveyed to the sender without feedbacks communication process is not what complete neither is this what successful yes communication is not a one-way thing but rather what a two-way process and that was what actually made us to define it the uh, the i mean earlier as what as a symbiotic thing you give it and you receive it right or uh, a, a thing of reciprocity it goes from you or it comes out of you and what it you receive it back right and that is where feedback is what is involved we say feedback requires that whereas the person sending the message go through the process of encoding and choice of medium the, re the recipient will have to what to decode and interpret we have to decode and interpret in this case the roles are reversed yes the original sender of the message becomes the receiver while the original receiver assumes the role of a sender depending on the type of word communication feedback will be oral written or involve the use of body language the process is interpreted just below uh, those process this are you have the six basic processes here explained right so the process of what body language is still part of what the feedback we can put that under the feedback then the oral aspect the feedback will be oral as in this are oral that is it could be vocalized or it could be said then you have written that is black and white or it could involve the use of what body language that is it at times it could involve the use of what symbols at times or signs and the rest of them all of these things right we can if communication is properly done all right and the all those things are happening then one can see that what is in response to the what the the message sent that means the person responding in those regards actually is actually has actually gotten what the message right has actually gotten the message so we have the six process here identify conception encoding channel decoding interpreting feedback of course this one can happen either in former systems or in former system or in an informal system let's move on to what the principle of effective communication there are principles needed for effective communication to happen what are the principles what are the things that we have to observe what are the things we have to go through what are the things we need to put in place or we need to ensure to have effective communication you have here we have bad communication skills in the long run can be costly to individual or organization that is in business poor communication could greatly damage the organization's world reputation and possibly put off the potential customers so how do we now achieve effective communication these are the things that we have we must what we must take note of that is for if for for information i mean for communication to be very effective what are the things that we must take note of we have to choose our words of course this one has been explained somewhere you have what choice of words choice of words what are we saying what are we saying what do you mean by choice of words if a customer comes to us to complain 
is 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 a right. He's exercising his or her right. So the customer has to be what listening listening to, inside out. And if possible, to be attended to immediately. Is good, but if not, then. The person receiving the complaint, the management or the organization or whatever, must find a way of pacifying that particular individual. But instead of doing that, the management flares up, right, and probably maltreats, or use harsh words, or use a kind of language that is not what expected in a customer. Uh, organization uh, relationship definitely there is going to be what problems so it might lead to what loss of that customer it might lead to loss of image it might lead to loss of a number of things very many things as well but if that's why the volatile situation or given a situation that is what very volatile but you have the right person in the saddle or in position who now chooses who now uses what wisdom who uses tact that is diplomacy these are part of some of the things that we learn too who uses what diplomacy in order to calm down the person they use words that is choose words to actually make the person see reason and probably down to his uh, or their team then then we can have what effective what communication and that is what that is what is supposed to be so choice of words matters so harsh words has negative what impact why uh, what is it called soft words ha or soft words have what have positive what impact that is it so meanwhile situation determines whether words are to be used harshly or words are to be used what softly that is um, some of the things that we have to learn as well so well, number one thing there is what choice of words here choice of words this matters matters in communication if the word is not right If the word is not right, comma, communication cannot cannot be right as well. 